Hey, good afternoon, everybody. It's uh, five o'clock somewhere Saturday night here in Oldsmar. Mike from Mike's Weather Page. This is our tropical update on YouTube. Talking about Tropical Storm Ian and a uh, little bit of changes today. We've been watching this track change, uh, bumping west, bumping west, bumping west. We're seeing a little trend here with the spaghetti models, the NHC definitely bumping it west. Um, so, keeping the Florida Panhandle kind of on alert. Uh, the day four, day five, the NHC is stressing it's very highly uncertain uh, due to the fact that GFS and the European models are so different. So I'm going to show you those. So there's still high uncertainty, but we have seen a trend a little bit to the west. Um, still expect to be a major hurricane here. Uh, Cayman Islands, part, part of the Cayman Islands are under hurricane warning. Hopefully this stays far enough to the west. It won't bring too bad of conditions. Uh, we're going to have a strengthening hurricane when it splits the gap this is the most um potent area of the of the gulf in western caribbean so this thing is expected to increase um even more i think the latest uh, nhc discussion here has it peaking out at 130 130 mile an hour now but it is expected to weaken some on approach that's because of that frontal line we've been talking about there's going to be a frontal line in the upper gulf that could uh, help weaken our system. The farther north this thing went, we knew that there was a chance this thing could uh, weaken because of that front. But some key notes here. Uh, it's important to, to point this out. Uh, as of now, highly uncertainty of the track, higher than usual, they note. I'm not trying to be a wish caster. I'm just telling you what the NHC says. Day four, day five, higher uh, uncertainty than usual. And... Uh, the risk of storm surge, hurricane force winds, heavy rainfall along the west coast of Florida and Florida Panhandle by the middle of next week. So they're talking still about the west coast of Florida. Remember, this system is going to be wide. Uh, residents in Florida should uh, ensure they have their hurricane plan in place and always listen to your local uh, officials and closely monitor the situation. All right, this is what it looks like right now. Currently, this is weathernerds.org. The uh, center might be below this big blob of convection. Uh, the trend during the day has been a little bit of movement to the south. This is kind of throwing the mo models off a little bit down south, a little bit less turn, moving that track a little bit to the west. So uh, the Hurricane Hunters are out there right now flying around and um, trying to find a good center. The larger picture here, this really puts it in perspective here. This is our, our system. Measured it, uh, it's around 450 miles wide. So again, if this thing takes a path anywhere, it's still going to affect a large area. Um, so don't focus on that center line. You're still going to have storms and squalls and surge, heavy rainfall to worry about. Um, but as far as the center goes, it has been tracking a little bit to the uh, to the west. But it's a large system. And it's going to bring a lot of rain. Latest rainfall estimates here, um, whew, man, really heavy into Florida now. This is creeped up a little bit. We talked about it this morning. They have adjusted and went north. This thing slows down a little bit. Northern Florida, the, any spot here in this, like, yellow, 10 to 15 inches of rain. Pretty much the whole peninsula is uh, 7 to 10 inches of rain. That's a lot of rain. Already saturated here in Florida and the peninsula especially, so flooding will be a higher than normal risk because of this already saturated grounds. And uh, double digits rain expected for a lot of folks. Um, so this is going to be one big concern is inland flooding. This also is going to add to the power outages. Um, power outages are going to be widespread due to the fact that the ground's a little bit uh, unstable right now. So, man, it's a lot of rain. It's a lot of rain coming to Florida. Uh, some other graphics here. This is the generalization of the winds. Um, very hard to figure out. The 500 millibars all over the place, so there's really no true organization. It appears that it's spinning here, but actually hurricane hunters are finding a center maybe a little bit more north forming. And you can get all that data on Tropical Tidbits here um, on his site. You can watch the hurricane hunters live. So it's always kind of cool to um, check in on them. Let's see if we can find it right there. There we go. There's the latest... Um, track so they did find something close to 14 five degrees here but there's multiple areas that could be um so it's just it's just sloppy tonight nothing really organized yet here's the latest spaghetti model so we're gonna use all tropical tidbit stuff for the rest of the presentation here um tropical tidbits spaghetti models uh there you go eastern gulf upper panhandle florida west coast uh this thing you know less and less for south florida that's a big switch i, I i'll admit um 
we've seen this over the years a couple times happen and um you know the models have not stopped nudging west weaker west sometimes the longer this thing takes to develop we've learned in the past could trick everybody so yeah everybody's watching closely that's for sure that's your latest models the next models come out at 9 p.m eastern another way you can look at them here this is a great site uh for southwest florida water management your red line is your mean line but notice the euro and the ensemble mean is still uh east of the nhc all these little pink lines that you see here these are uh your ensembles blended in with the operational runs so red is your official uh, we have the orange here is the uh, euro and then of course there's a lot of them still to the west weather nerds this is uh this is what the nhc is talking about uh there's wide spread here on the euro still thinking um the uh theme that we started seeing last night was a weakening of our frontal boundary and uh, building in of high pressure system a little bit more than was earlier expected and this is kind of pushing our system a little bit more to the uh, west and high might be building back in because that front is going to be weaker toward the end of the week and that's causing our system to kind of slow down a little bit this is where these extra rainfall predictions that are coming into play that could really play havoc here with uh, rain regardless remember that Eastern side of storms are usually the, the most aggressive side of storms. That puts the peninsula in play no matter where the eye is. And if we do have shear from that upcoming uh, frontal boundary line, it's going to push more moisture eastward. So I guess what the NHC is stressing, uh, West Coast Florida is still watching close um, no matter what the final track is. And you can see that also on the latest uh, track. You can start to see them slowing down their markers here a little bit. Um, not really seeing a lot of forward speed, indicating a little bit of weakness uh, building in and maybe slowing our system down. Latest models here. Let's take a look at them. This is a wide range look at the Euro. This is uh, mainly for our Cayman friends. Uh, the trend has been since our system has been shifting a little bit south, a little bit more miss for the Caymans, right? The, the uh, We can look here just berg weather site is great uh this is a track here of our history of our storm so far and you can see um it's kind of trended south a little bit now the latest fix is a little bit closer to uh 15 degrees we might see a little more bump north if that's the true center but this is kind of what partly the reason the models have kind of adjusted a little bit of westward uh shift today this a uh, little bit of south component um but as far as the actual getting close to home here if you're like i am continental u.s here our system splits the gap this is the euro and uh you know it's still pointing right towards tampa bay so you gotta keep watching um that's 951 millibar very strong system it has adjusted the euro has been pretty much very consistent whoops uh wrong pen <laughs> It's been really consistent, but it's been slowly adjusting the track along the uh, Florida uh, West Coast. Still too close for comfort along the Florida West Coast. This would still put the, the whole peninsula in, in play as far as effects. So that's what the NHC is stressing that day four, day five right now is still uncertain because of the, um, the European model. The GFS has been trending north. And, uh, you know... Category 4 possible hurricane in the Gulf of Mexico. Luckily, uh, if it keeps going north, it's going to be affected by this wind shear, dry air. And you can start to see the sheared system look here. Uh, all this moisture here, this is from a sheared system because of a frontal boundary. Um, so you might not get a direct hit landfall-wise, the whole core of the system, because it's going to become sheared the farther north it goes. You're going to get a lot of that extra rain. Um, but the, the GFS is extremely different than the Euro, and it, it's not backing down on a North Florida uh, pole there. So I wish it was. Uh, I wish it was easier. Really, I do. Um, the Icon never really been the best track model, but it's it's in line with the Euro. This is the Icon, uh, keeping that West Florida theme, and then the Canadian model is more like the GFS. So I don't. Um, you know there's the uh, Canadian model and again all the action to the east side so 
Man, I thought we had a handle on this thing as far as uh, confidence with models, but now even the NHC said there's higher uh, uncertainty than usual. And that's that's it. So there's your latest. Uh, little ticks to the west. Um, Florida, pretty much all of Florida still watching. And um, I guess we can show this real quick, the timing of um, possible winds. Uh, we're still looking at Monday evening, possible tropical storm winds close to the Keys. Uh, if, if, this, if this thing does the track now, we're looking at Tuesday, uh, lower Florida, tropical storm force winds, middle Florida, Tuesday night, and Wednesday morning, um, pan handle northern Florida. That's because our system's wide, 450 miles long. So even though our system might be somewhere down here, you know, we'll still be getting storms well out in front and well to the east. So that's it uh so really the only difference today from this morning a little ticks to the west um and uh still expect to be a major hurricane down in the uh, lower gulf of mexico so still lots to watch i'm afraid and uh, i'll stay on it i post all of the uh updates that's what everybody's always said they liked about our page if it's a little too much for you highly recommend sticking to the nhc uh the cone of uncertainty is pretty much where they're expecting this storm could possibly go uh but i do love to post spaghetti models and different runs because everybody likes to kind of know you know and uh keep up to date so there you go all right well thanks for tuning in to our channel please subscribe it's growing really appreciate it uh i'll be doing a live tomorrow sunday sometime and uh, we'll be doing a live actually here later on youtube at 6 p.m if you get to watch or the replay. So there you go. Have a great evening, everybody. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye. And tonight. <laughs>